one and the only Chicago Red. How are y'all doing today? Good. Thank you for having Pretty us. Good. Pretty, good. Pretty good. Now, uh, I'm sure all y'all are pretty happy that Trump won. Uh, what does the city of Chicago feel about Trump being the 47th president? Ice, ice, baby. Bum, 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 bum. Ice is coming, okay? Not only is ice coming, but we're going to get some accountability through the upcoming attorney general because we want audits in the city of Chicago to figure out how and where they pulled all this money for the illegals from while Americans are suffering. And P. Ray, the work you guys are doing is so important because... Listen, I do believe that we have marginalized societies. I feel like uh, you know the African American community has been uh, marginalized for sure, not just by conservatives but by the liberals. I think even more so. But when you talk about social services and the fact that an illegal immigrant is going to have easier access to social services than a black or uh, a, an American person that's born here in America, and you guys spoke out about that, I've seen Dennis speak out about that. So, Dennis, how is the illegal immigration affecting? people in Chicago that can't afford their bills, but they see the illegal immigrants get free hotel rooms and, and free plane tickets all across the country. Well, because of the failure of the uh, not only the mayor, but as the president itself, he brought that flood of turmoil, not into the country, but in the city of Chicago. So when Brandon Johnson campaigned that his the first priority is the migrant, he followed up through that campaign speech and he took it to heart. So, you know, P. Ray and Miss Jackson and I, we had enough of it because they doing a crime. They get away with a lot of things. They buying food, selling food out in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. And they just like, they living like Hollywood stars mm -hmm. as we living like poor people during the dark age of England. So we had enough of, we just say enough and enough. And that was my first time in City Hall. I'd never been in City Hall before in my life. And that was my first time. And I went through to Miss Jackson when it was time for me to speak. I was nervous. And she said, it's not just speak what you have to speak. And then next thing, it was game on. So, Ms. Jackson, you, you, you must have spoken at a few of these meetings. Now, I've spoken at a lot of city council meetings. Dennis, it is nerve-wracking. Even if you are uh, passionate about what you believe in and you're well-spoken, you have a, a pre-written speech, it doesn't matter. When you go up there and you have those negative, low-vibrational energy demons looking at you, you know, it does, it does make you feel some sort of way, right, Ms. Jackson? Tell, tell the people what it's like uh, to go speak at one of these meetings. Well, on one hand... Is very liberating because it's the only way that your voice can get heard. Now, um, what I want to clear is that it's not just the social services. That's part of it. But then you have people like myself that come down there or like Zoe Lee that came down there because we're property owners. And as black property owners, our rights are being completely violated. While mm -hmm. they're doing things like what brought me down there was the issue of the uh, corruptness of the probate division uh, because my mother's estate is in probate. And the thing that irritates me and gets me coming down there all the time and upsets me is because like what we're talking about in City Hall, you see the city council and the mayor go all out to try to make sure that these illegal immigrants have somewhere to stay. While at the same time, right before my very eyes, I'm seeing the same city do all type of things to push black property owners out of our property. It's not just the social services because a lot mm -hmm. of us don't depend on social services. Mm -hmm. Our rights being violated for illegal immigrants, for our property taxes to be out of control, for illegal immigrants, that's a major slap in the face, and it, and it infuriates me. You are right. It's not just the social services, but you see these people, they're, they're taking their debit cards and they're buying these foods or they're cooking food on the street, and they don't have to do any sanitation rules. If you and I had a restaurant, they would shut us down in two seconds, yet they let 
these illegal immigration, illegal immigrants get away with anything. So, Ms. Jackson, other than the probate with your mother, knowing how terrible that is, you know, how they're screwing you over. How else has Chicago been affected by the illegal immigration? What would you say is the worst thing that's happened to the city because of this? You see Lake and Riley. In Georgia, was brutally murdered by a guy, Trin de Arruga, a Venezuelan gang member. So, what do you think the biggest plague is? Is it the Venezuelan gangs? Is it, uh, you know, it's the issue of public safety? Yeah. Yeah, it's the issue of public safety, period. You know, the fact that you have all these undocumented people roaming our streets, we have no idea who they are, where they're from, when they commit crimes. We have no idea who they are. Um, like in a lot of these cases, by the time that you find these people, they're using the third, fourth, fifth name. They got mm -hmm. the fifth, sixth, seventh social security number. Mm -hmm. You know, it's completely unfair to the citizens because if an American citizen breaks the law, you have our fingerprints, school records, dental records, all type of ways, immunization records, all type of ways that you have all these undocumented people roaming our streets. We have no idea who they are, where they're from, when they commit crimes. We have no idea who they are. Um, like in a lot of these cases, by the time that you find these people, they're using the third, fourth, fifth name. It's a matter of public safety. Can I yeah, uh, that, back yeah, on go that? Ahead. Yeah, please. We're also dealing with uh, diseases in the Chicago public schools. I yeah. am a Chicago public school graduate. My parents are Chicago public school graduates. I have a child in the Chicago public schools. I love CPS. The city of Chicago was the epicenter of the measles outbreak earlier this year in the spring because they put the unvaccinated children of the illegals in the Chicago public schools and then they brought diseases. So we had measles, we had TB, and we had meningitis. Meningitis is the worst because the children cannot get vaccinated for, men for meningitis until the sixth grade, which means all the children fifth grade and under were totally exposed. I have friends who had to quarantine their children because they had measles outbreaks in their schools and nobody chose to do anything about it. Um, I mean, they literally left our babies exposed to all of the elements in the world to virtual signal to the world. And that's not fair. And it doesn't make sense, you know, during the pandemic, you had to have a vaccine to come into this country unless you're an illegal immigrant. So they don't even have to follow the rules that everybody else has to follow when it comes to medications, immunizations. I mean, all kinds of stuff. They don't have to abide by the rules that we do, which makes us have a two tier justice system. And that's ridiculous. So now I want to talk about speaking at city councils. You know, if you guys aren't too familiar with me, but I started and I started speaking at city council meetings very earnestly honestly just complaining they wouldn't pay attention to me you know i would get a little attention but once i started acting crazy i started singing songs i started just you know uh, making a circus out of it and and you would think that that would be dumb but what people don't realize is these politicians their feelings their egos are so big that if you just lampoon them a little bit you say a little hard truth to them it affects them so how have you guys before we play this video how much have you affected uh mayor johnson and did you guys speak during Lori Lightfoot's tenure? And didn't she make it hard to speak at city council meetings from uh, what I remember? Lori Lightfoot made it very impossible because she was like the queen of England. And mm -hmm. defying her is like a death sentence to the citizen of Chicago. Because Lori Lightfoot, when she was mayor at the time, during the pandemic, she was not focusing on the citizen of Chicago. Neither she wasn't focusing on the south and west side of Chicago, Ralph Fan. Only thing she focusing on was the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing that got Lori Lightfoot out of office. And mm -hmm. furthermore, she compared voting her out. Well, I didn't vote her out, just like I didn't vote Brandon Johnson in. But mm -hmm. at the same time, Lori Lightfoot always blamed racism the same way that Brandon Johnson is blaming racism. Because when Lori Lightfoot, the first thing she, she could, when she got voted out during the primary, she said, the reason why I lost the election because there are racist people who want me out of office. But it was not the racist people that vote her out of office. It was the, the policy that she never did have 
to protect the people of Chicago during the pandemic and during the uh, riot of 2020. And people notice that. But Miss Jackson, did you ever see that Lori Life? The real Dr. Fauci, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Vaccinate your mom. Vaccinate your dad. Vaccinate the happy. Vaccinate the sad. Vaccinate your babies. Vaccinate them. Even if they got rabies. Vaccinate my life. Vaccinate my wife. Vaccinate your DNA. Vaccine created by the CIA. Vaccinate your body. Vaccinate me at the party. Vaccination freak. Vaccination freaking leak. I want the vaccine in my life. I want the vaccine for my wife. I want to vaccinate you all day long. Vaccinate you while I wear my thong. Vaccinate me. Vaccinate who? Vaccinate she. Vaccinate her. Vaccinate them. Vaccinate my friend. I want to vaccinate to the end. Va